Fitting a buckle-up shoe. At Start Right, we recognise that children's feet are unique. So to be confident that the shoes we've delivered will provide lasting comfort and support for delicate growing feet, we've devised an expert fitting guide that's really easy to use. Here's what you do. When the shoes arrive, take them out of the box and make sure you remove any packing material. Undo the buckle and make the opening to the shoe as wide as possible. Now, when your child is sitting comfortably, guide their foot into the shoe. A slight twisting action may help, but the shoe should go on naturally and easily. Pull the buckle comfortably secure and fasten it. Now, holding their ankle in one hand, give the shoe a gentle tug. It should stay firmly in place. Your child needs to be standing nice and straight with their full weight on their feet in both shoes for this next part of the fitting. You may need to adjust the buckles again now that they are standing up. The buckle should do up around the middle hole. If it is on the hole nearest the end of the strap, the shoe may be too narrow. If it is on the hole furthest away from the end of the strap, then the shoe may be too wide. Now we're going to show you how to check the fit like an expert by working from the back of the shoe around to the front with your fingers. Don't forget to check both shoes. Make sure there's no gap at the back between the shoe and the heel. Now look at the ankle bone. Make sure that it is clear of the edge of the shoe so that it won't rub. Some of our shoes have padded collars which are designed to support the ankle without causing friction. So these will sit closer to the ankle bone than those without. The widest part of the foot, that's from the joint of the little toe across to the joint of the big toe, should be in the widest part of the shoe. Applying gentle pressure, feel along the sides to make sure that there aren't any toes sticking out. Now rub your thumb across the top of the shoe. It's the expert way to confirm that the shoe is really the right width. You should feel the leather or fabric move with a shallow ripple effect as you push across it. If there's no give at all, the shoe isn't wide enough. But if you can push the shoe leather into a ridge, then it's too wide. With a low-cut shoe, try running a finger under the vamp. That's the top part of the shoe. Make sure it's not so tight that the foot bulges out of it, and not so loose that there's a big gap underneath. Finally, the road test. Watch your child walk, making sure that the shoes do not slip.